Cooking with Carl. I'm Burrito. And I'm Alaska. And today we're making fruit nachos. To start this dish, you're going to need to grab your favorite fruit, which is going to act as your base. I chose banana. And I chose an apple. And then you're going to grab your favorite sauce of choice. Today I chose almond butter. And I chose honey. And finally you're going to choose your toppings. Mine was sprinkles. And mine's granola. Okay, follow us. Let's get cooking. First you're going to need to grab a trusted adult or big sibling to help you cut your fruit into chip form. Now it's time for the drizzle of greatness. I chose honey. And I chose almond butter. And now it's time for some slow motion drizzle. And now it's time for the best part, topping. And I'm gonna choose granola today. You can also do berries, marshmallows, chocolates, whatever your heart desires. And that's how you make fruit nachos. And now we're gonna play a little game with our very special guest, Walnut! Let's go get her. Hey, Alaska. Hey, Walnut, how's it going? Okay. Come on in. Now we're gonna do the blindfolded food taste challenge. What do you think it is? with Carl. Hey, Nugget. Hey, Walnut. You know, did you know those fruit nachos that Burrito and Alaska made look so delicious? They look so good. They kind of made me hungry. Me too. Do you want to make some Carl pancakes with me right now? Yeah, I do. Here's what you're going to need. Okay, so you're going to need some pancake mix, syrup, food coloring, uh, some chocolate syrup, in a pan as well as a spatula. And if you're interested, you can have these extra topics. We have sprinkles, marshmallows, Oreos, chocolate chips, and our favorite fruit, raspberries and blueberries. Wow. The first step is to make your pancake mix. Just follow the instructions on the back of your pancake mix. Well, wait! Make sure you ask an adult for help when you're cooking them. Split your pancake batter into two bowls and put green dye in one bowl and blue dye in the other bowl and mix thoroughly. Then start making your pancakes and don't forget to spray the pan with cooking spray. Now it's time to decorate! The first thing you're going to want to do is set up your pancakes in the shape of Carl. Alright, you might want to roll your sleeves up for this next part. It can get a little... Okay. You're going to crush up some Oreos in a plastic bag. Don't forget to ask an adult to help. And we're going to put it on the plate like dirt. The dirt that Carl is crawling through. Like so. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's oh, messy. Yeah. And we're going to add some sprinkles to be flowered. But we're going to make it more fun for Carl. We're going to add some maple syrup to this also. Oh yeah, how much do you think on that? Mm, well, he's still got a few sweet treats left, so very good. Next, we're going to add some chocolate chips. Oh yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's okay. And some chocolate syrup. That's some tasty dirt for Carl. <laughs> All right, so for the finishing touches of the decorating, we're gonna put some marshmallows as clouds. 
But what about his feet? I think we should use raspberries. I think you're right. Okay. We'll give him, what, four feet? Four feet works. What's next? Hmm, I think he needs an eyeball. Yeah, I think you might be right. And... What about his smile? Yeah, his smile is not as big as it could be. There he is. There's Carl for you. And that's how you make pancake Carl. Cooking with Carl.